Hi, Conrad White here from the Success Council. Welcome to our very first episode. I thought I would start by explaining why Success Council was created at all. To do that, we're going to start with a couple of recent news clips about Greece. As you know, if you're already a Success Council member, Greece is just a few years ahead of the rest of us when it comes to the upcoming economic collapse. So, what is happening in Greece? We have seen Greece as the capital of anger over austerity, with protests on the streets for two years now. But what happens when that anger translates to the ballot box? The pain of austerity is punishing moderate parties. It has pushed a staggering 40% of Greek voters to the communists and other left-wing groups. Think about this. Greece invented democracy over 2,000 years ago. Now, they're on the doorsteps of voting themselves into slavery under communism. If this isn't bad enough, you won't believe the fastest growing political party in Greece. The Nazi party, called the Greek Golden Dawn. And their leader? Well, judge for yourself in this next video. I guarantee you'll be shocked. <laughs> Can you believe it? This thug represents the Golden Dawn's best and brightest. And yes, he just hit a woman on a live TV debate shortly before Greece's election. So this Nazi gangster, the Golden Dawn's best and brightest, couldn't get any votes, could he? Meanwhile, ideological fringe parties on the right and left gained a larger percentage of the vote than they have ever before. One in particular, the neo-Nazi party, Golden Dawn, has garnered enough of the vote to seat 21 of its own members in parliament for the first time. Insane, right? Well, maybe Greeks have always voted for extremists. Maybe that's what got them into this mess. They were probably completely different to your nation, and there's nothing to learn from this. So, what happened to the two main political parties in charge of the country during the crisis in the first election since the economic crisis began in late 2009? Take a look. In 2009, the two main parties got 77% of the public's vote. On Sunday, they got just over 32%, not even half. No. Nope. Just before their financial system collapsed, they were just like all of the other first world countries. They had two major parties that almost everybody voted for. Like most countries, both parties were considered moderate, exactly the same as your country. This is critical for you to understand. What is happening in Greece will most likely happen in your country too, unless you take action now. So what happened? Put simply, a financial collapse happened to an uneducated group of people. The Greeks know three things for sure. Number one, they hate what happened to them. Number two, they know their leaders and the old parties cannot be trusted. And three, they know the media must have been asleep at best and hiding information from them at the worst. So who do they trust? You see, a government-made catastrophe creates a leadership vacuum. Everyone you have listened to for years, including the media, politicians, professors, and pundits, were all worthless. No one wants to listen to them anymore. So they look for new leaders. This can be very exciting because we need new leaders. But it can also be very dangerous. If people don't understand the flawed principles of large government that caused the problems, they'll simply elect someone else with the same flawed principles who is even more radical. You see, I believe we are in a race against time. We have between now and when the collapse happens to educate the masses that big government caused the problem. More importantly, if everyone is uneducated, they're likely to elect an even more tyrannical, radical, and powerful government, which will make the situation even worse. What is needed to correct our path? Number one, reduce the size and power of government. Two, return to a free market economy. And three, embrace the idea of personal liberty and responsibility. Success Council will help build the leaders that will fill that vacuum after the collapse. In Greece, the communists and fascist radicals were waiting in the wings who, like Hitler, were given their moment to shine due to the lack of education in the community about what caused their problems. Once the population was sufficiently impoverished, made hungry and desperate, then protests, strikes and even riots were quickly organized through existing channels. The worldwide Occupy Wall Street movement gives you a very good look at what kind of resistance exists in your community. Because the movement is decentralized, there were many different views represented at the protests. America, for example, showed some excellent signs of encouragement. 
there were many signs for end the Fed and a reduction in the size of government. However, they were in the minority. The more common mentality of the protesters was eat the rich, and from each according to his ability to each according to his need. Very communist ideals indeed. 19th century America was the home to the greatest and most successful experiment in liberty the world has ever seen. Sadly, however, if the collapse happened in 2012, there would be a greater desire for socialism than freedom. That is a very concerning thought, and I fear the rest of the first world would be even worse. However, this is definitely changing. Hundreds of thousands of people are moving towards the noble cause of liberty. Led by America, I believe the world is in an intellectual revolution. Success Council hopes to contribute to that revolution and build the leaders of the movement. The reason why I believe we are in that revolution? Evidence like this next video. During the 1970s, he warned us not to leave the gold standard. He warned us about the Federal Reserve. In 2001, he warned us of the housing bubble. He warned us of the dangers of unconstitutional wars. He warned us of economic collapse. For his entire career, he stayed true to his oath of office. And it's now 2012. People are now listening to what he has to say. The other Republican candidates can only pretend that they are what he's always stood for. Witness the power of an idea. This is real. This is happening. You will not see this on television. For those of you who do not know Ron Paul, he's a staunch libertarian candidate running for president in the U.S. 2012 election. While all you'll hear of on the news is Romney and Obama, they can't even fill a hall at their own rallies. Ron Paul's filling stadiums and exciting thousands of young minds to the cause of liberty on every college campus he goes to. Heck, they're even holding rallies for him in Spain. Somos un pequeño grupo de individuos comprometidos con la libertad, la paz. En este momento se está propiciando una verdadera revolución dentro del sistema electoral estadounidense sin que los medios de comunicación se hagan eco de ello aquí en España. La candidatura de Ron Paul en las primarias del Partido Republicano en Estados Unidos, sea para bien o para mal, debería ser tratada como notición aquí en España, como en cualquier país del mundo globalizado. ¡No a la guerra! ¡Pases fuera! ¡Viva Ron Paul! The response of the military is also significant and heartening. During Dr. Ron Paul's campaign, active servicemen and women gave more in donations to him than they did to their commander-in-chief, President Obama. In fact, he was the only anti-war candidate and has received more money than all of the other candidates combined. Everywhere I look, I see more people waking up. The revolution is definitely underway. As Ron Paul says, you cannot stop an idea whose time has come. While Ron Paul is an incredible contributor to the cause, the cause is much bigger than him or his presidential candidacy. It's about the ideology of liberty. It's about creating leaders in the community to carry that message forward. In the next video, I will show you the plan to achieve our goals. It's important that you know the primary motivation behind Success Council, and you'll be pleasantly surprised that step one is making you fabulously wealthy.